son of a- You have something I desire. The Eternity Forge. Maybe I should quit while I'm ahead. Go out on a high note. I keep thinking about Nebula. Imagine how she's gonna react when she finds out we killed Thanos. Like you said, she's your sister. Trust me, family's worth fighting for. Maybe you're right. Thanos eradicated my people. Destroyed my planet. Now that you have killed him, the Eternity Forge will be our salvation. You have his body? <laughs> I can't believe it. We'll dispatch some officers to your location. The galaxy owes you a debt it can never repay. I will not rest until we have conquered every star system in the galaxy. Starting with you. Come find me, Peter. <gasps> Holy shit. Yet. No! 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 What no! Is no! This no! Dark sorcery. I am rude. Back, foul demon! Oh! Jeez! Oh, uh. I am. Whoa! Brute. Hey! This is not normal. Get behind me! I will protect you from this monstrosity. Hey, easy! You mind not breaking my face? I'm sorry, I panicked. How are you... Yeah, so, uh... I guess I was dead, and now uh, apparently I'm not. This is impossible. Impossible is one thing. This? <laughs> this is freaky. How do we know you are really Peter Quill? Prove it to me. What do you expect him to do? Trust me, dude. I think I know if I wasn't me. <laughs> right? I'm... Kind of an expert. I suppose you are correct. Okay, great. Everybody calm now? Huh? We cool? No! I am Groot. He's right. The dead don't just come back. There's gotta be a catch. I mean, this is insane. Hey, I'm just happy to be alive, okay? Screw the cost. You don't know anything about this thing, Pete. What if it's temporary? Huh? Well, what if it does something to you? Yeah, easy to say screw the cost when you don't know what that is, you idiot. What was that? It's Hala. She's caught up to us. Everyone upstairs, we gotta move. I already died once today. I really don't want to try it again. Everyone, hold on. Things are gonna get a little bumpy. Yeah, that'll help. Peter, you just died. Are you sure you're okay to fly? Oh, uh, easy, Quill. That answer your question? <laughs> Not really. I am. Well, 
Root says he's gonna puke again. <laughs> I think we lost her. This holla lady's relentless. Why'd she want this eternity thing so bad? Her ship was full of dead Kree. Thousands of them preserved in stasis pods. Uh, okay. Huh. Now I might puke. Save it for when we land, buddy. She could create an unlimited army of Kree soldiers. If this relic falls into Hala's hands, that's bad news. For everybody. Agreed. Although I would relish in killing her. And then bringing her back to life. And then killing her again. And then bringing her back to life, and then killing her again! And then bringing her back to life, and we then- We get it, Drax. <sighs> now that will be a fair fight. One I would not lose. You know, I'm all for people having opinions, but sometimes Drax shouldn't be allowed to speak. Then we can't risk her getting a hold of this relic. Can't the galaxy stay guarded for like five friggin' minutes? I mean, come on! No matter how far we run, Hala will not stop hunting us. Milano can't take much more of this, Pete. I barely got her up and running after your last so-called landing. If we don't find some place to lay low and fix our ship... Yeah, I'm on it. Look, I just need her to hold together for a little longer, Rocket. I might know someone who can help us out. Where are we? I don't like being out in the open with Hala on our trail. Let me do the talking. Quill? If you're here... Trouble ain't far behind. My ship's busted, man. And you're the only guy who can fix it. <sighs> and this is why you never loan stuff to people. Haven't seen you since you left me in the Ravages. I hear you're a real hero now. Been helping out them Nova Corp boys. You think I'm letting you in now? You've lost the other half of your mind. <sighs> Never thought you'd turn into a spineless, rule-following space cop yourself. Associating with you is bad for business, Quill. Just open the door already, Yondu. We don't have time to wait around all night. Well, you better come on in then before someone sees you. Make yourself right at home. Oh. I thought it was just you, Quill, not all your little playmates. Hey, hey, no plants on the roof. These guys are my family, Yondu. Great, okay, quick introductions then. This is Gamora. See now, nice to meet you. Put that away, or I'll cut it off. That's Groot. Drax, say hi. These are terrible. What do you think you're doing? That's my food. Mine! A warrior must eat. And last but not least, Rocket. Rocket! I don't trust Ravagers, Quill. They'll shoot you in the back the first moment they get. Well... I don't trust animals that can talk. Wanna hear me talk? Okay. Rocket, <laughs> why 
We are guests inside Yandu's beautiful home. Please don't blow it and everyone inside of it to tiny little pieces. This place is already a garbage heap. A little kaboom would do it good. What the hell? <laughs> I've been buying black market trinkets off this little freak for years. And I've been gladly accepting this idiot's money. You got anything new for me? Oh, we got some. But it ain't for sale. Well, ain't she a beaut? Fit it right in with my collection. I know how much you like shiny stuff, but that one? It's mine. And calm yourself, Quill. I'm just having a look. Beautiful. Sometimes it takes stepping back from your problems to see how small they actually are. These last few months haven't been easy. For either of us. But, um... I'm not always gonna be here. I worry about you. You're growing up so fast. Don't... say stuff like that. This isn't easy for me, either. You're meant for more than this life, Peter. I know you are. You're gonna save the galaxy. You're gonna kill Thanos. And change everything. Wait! This... This isn't how it happened. You... You didn't say that before. Please, trust me, baby. I'm trying to help you. Every time I look up there, I find something new. Something I overlooked. Come sit by me, baby. Hmm? You can see the stars even better from over here. Peter, please? Yeah, of course, Mom. Just for a minute, though, okay? That's good. So, what am I supposed to be looking at? The stars. I know they don't look like much, but you keep... I think that one is Canis Major? It's shaped like a dog. That's right. You wanted a pup so badly when you were younger. But you could never have one. Too much money. Closest thing you were ever gonna get was that constellation. You used to wish that dog sweet dreams. Every single night. That's, uh, that's Gemini, right? The twins? Yep. You used to say they were dancing together. Yeah. I thought it was you and, and Dad. You have one active imagination, Peter. That's Orion. No doubt about it. It is indeed. First constellation you ever learned. That looks like... the Eternity Forge. Sure does. Look closer. That writing... It wasn't there before! What... what does it say? Mom? Come find me, Peter.
guys. I don't think they can hear us. Did you just see what I saw? It's been decades since I've seen your mama's face. Now that was a special treat. Peter? Yeah, I didn't want to invite you into my own personal memory banks. Well, it's too late, boy. I saw your inside thoughts. What just happened? I saw my mom. You heard her, right? She wants me to find her. Wait, look. Wait. I've seen glyphs like that before. It's ancient Cree. Stop eating already! God, I can't hear myself think. Ugh, God, why does everything have to be Cree? You did find it in a Cree temple. Details. Nah. I don't think it's a coincidence, though. Thanos was after something. An object with these same markings. Let me see that. Nebula and I stole it for him. I don't know what it does, but my sister may have been able to learn something from it. If we can find Nebula, maybe she can help us translate this. Yeah, right before she cuts off all our heads and takes the forge for herself. And who do you think's the first guy she's gonna use it on? Counterpoint? You worry too much. We have to figure this out before Hala does. Are you hearing yourself? Every story you tell us about that robo-chick ends with somebody getting eviscerated. You know, ever since I was a kid, I've wanted to fight a cyborg. I mean, guess dreams do come true. Sorry to crush your dreams, but we might not have to fight her. Oh, you're no fun. I tried to get in contact with Nebula not long ago. She won't be hard to track down. Better let me have a look at your ship, then. I may have something to fix that lying around. Move your foot. I am Groot. Somebody get this tree away from me. <sighs> Enough <sighs> with the snacks! Could you be any more useless right now? What's up, man? Is everything okay? Look, I'm no good at this, so I'm just gonna do it fast. I know we don't know a ton about the relic, but the one thing we do know is that it brought you back to life. Now don't tell me you ain't thought about how you can use that power. Well, maybe you haven't, but I have. You don't know a lot about me, but before I met you guys, there was someone. She's gone now, but maybe with that relic I can make her ungone. I just... I have to try. We gotta go to Half-World, Pete. I know going after Nebula is the logical move here. I get it. You gotta find out why this thing's affecting you. But this favor... I gotta ask. If this person means that much to you, we'll go. Really? Thanks. I mean it. Help me out with this, boy! Oh, your friend over here keeps dropping it on my foot! It slipped. Oh. Let's get going. That'll do it. Have that little furball of yours give her a good rev to warm up the engines. Should be right to go. Where are we going, Star-Lord? We got a little detour to make. Right, Quill? Rocket has some business to take care of on Half-World. We don't have time for a detour. We've got more urgent problems to deal with right now. Peter, there's something you need to see. Hey, you promised. We're going. I found Nebula. She's taken Thanos' ship. She's heading to a remote Novacore outpost. Peter, she's going after Thanos' body. And we're supposed to care because... I would hate to be those guys. You really don't care. We gave the body to them. This is on us. You see that, don't you? 
Helping Rocket is more important right now. We can't risk it, Peter. We need her to help us translate the Eternity Forge. Nebula isn't going to just wait for us to intercept her. Look, a promise is a promise. Pete and I are going to Half-World. Intercepting Nebula is more important. We're going to Half-World. Thanks, buddy. I owe you one. Peter, but Nebula... Good luck translating the Forge without my sister. Heads up, everyone. Going to Half World. Later, Queen. Don't be a stranger. And take care of the Milano. It's always fun seeing you, Yandu. It has been a pleasure. Don't overdo it now. Bye, Gamonda. Hala has found us. And this is what we call great timing.